everybody, welcome back. Got another more of our review here. Uh, looks like uh, Colosseo, PC game. This is Master 5. Claire says, uh, I submitted a VOD a while ago when I was Platinum 5. Since then, I've fallen in love with Moira and made her my main. I managed to climb to Diamond this season, Peak Masters 3 last season. Uh, this season, I fell like a stone to Diamond 3 with the nerfs, uh, but I've tenuously clawed my way back to Masters 5. I feel very insecure in my rank, don't really think I deserve much higher. Uh, then low diamond. Match went well for us until the end. We weren't stomping, but we managed to keep the lead, but eventually it fell all apart. I did a lot of damage, more than both my DPS, and I know that provided value, but I still get overwhelmed in these lobbies, and often I lose the flow. I have absolutely no idea what I was doing and lost awareness of the situation. Honestly, I, I, I mean, I've had games the same. Um, in fact, the game where I felt the most out of place was on this map. I was in an all top 500 match. Which is weird, because I was the only player in the lobby that was not top 500. So I don't know how that worked. Um, and I just got my shit pushed in. It was disgusting. I, I have never felt... I felt like I was playing a different video game. It did not feel like Overwatch to me. It was insane. So, anyway, all that to say is that happens. It's okay. Um, that, was, uh, that was the game that made me realize that... You're going to feel that, no matter what. doesn't matter what level you're at, you're going to feel that eventually. So, um, not much to cover here. It's good. We stayed alive. Didn't uh, look like we backed up when we needed to. Of course, I'm, you know, I'm mostly reading the thing, but I'm just kind of watching in the background. I've also noticed that on this, on this mode a lot that, you know, uh, one team will have the lead the entire match, and then all of a sudden it'll it'll fall apart. I would have liked to seen us push this brig, but let me see. Let me make sure you're you didn't see something, or that you maybe you saw something I didn't. Because I know the hogs there, but we go in there, right? Kill this brig because you can kill her. She's half health. You, like you can one v one her, even if your somber's not there. This is a ballsy move I would have tried. Because if you would have were here and faded into there, the chances of this hog knowing that that, ha knowing that happened is really low. And then by the time he realizes it, the brig's dead and you have fade again and you can you can you have an escape route. Um, I would have liked to have seen that. Because instead she gets out. Okay. And is that fight changing? Maybe not in this example, but you're going to notice the higher you rank up, the fewer opportunities like that present themselves. So the better, and then we die anyway, right? The, the more you need to, to take advantage of them. So uh, the way I approach Hog is I don't. So <laughs> if uh, your, your damage beam and his hook have the same exact range, so if you can damage him, he can kill you. That's about it. So. Right, and, and instances like that where he's retreating, he's not looking at you, of course. Right, you can get in there and damage him. Okay, so they're going to have walls till 719. I call that out. Now, if you're not in chat, that's okay. I actually have not been in chat in a really long time. Um, but that used to be a thing I would do because I keep track of it. And that's that's something that Moira is is good at tracking, right? Because she doesn't have to focus as much on aiming. She's more of the like kind of big picture hero. Um, okay, did we juke that hook on purpose? It almost seemed like you could hear it, and you juked right when he hooked. If so, that's really good. I don't know. I'm not going to assume one way or the other, but it definitely is dangerous, um, once again, using, uh, being within his, his uh, kind of kill zone, I guess is the best way to put it. So, with your, with your team comp, um, 
I, I don't expect you're gonna have a, a lot of healing. You're all very mobile. Um, very self-sufficient heroes. Except Ish, the Sojourn. She's very mobile, but you know the, the rest of everybody here has uh, damage mitigation and pretty good escape abilities and stuff like that. So this is good. I like this. This is good too. Yep. Because she's she's not going to kill you here. The, the one thing I will say, though, is you guys are playing a pretty divey comp. But you're not diving together. And you can't really force your team to do that. But in this situation, what I would do is I, I would typically pick somebody uh, who I feel is making the best dives, like the me best decisions on the dives, and then dive with them. Because it doesn't necessarily have to be like your tank, right? It might be the Sombra, it might be the trait, right? It could be anybody. So in this is this is super nitpicky, but this is the kind of this is the realm we're in. Okay, I don't shoot a healing orb here. I shoot a damage orb at the enemy team and I spray him. Ball is the fastest hero in the game by a pretty significant margin, right? The chances of him getting very much value out of this healing, healing orb are pretty slim, right? Even in a space like this where it's going to bounce off, right? I feel like he's going to be gone before he gets any meaningful health from that. Right? How, how much did he get? I'll even, uh, we can even go to the ball. Let's, let's see how much he got. I mean, it was 25, maybe. Because uh, there was other sh shit going on. You had, He had heal over time on him from, from you spraying him. Um, the bottom line is that was kind of a waste of a healing orb. I would have rather seen that go onto the enemy team. Right? Because you're going to get healing spray resource from your damage orb, right? And the getting the damage out of that orb is way more consistent than getting healing out of the healing orb in that instance. Hmm. I don't I didn't really see a reason for us to ult there, right? I saw we put pressure on the brig, but all she had to do was walk behind cover. So, I, I, I'm feeling like we didn't get a lot of value out of that. That was a good bait from the book, though. Okay, yeah, we gotta get away from this hog. You, you, were, you stayed in his face too long. He, basically, you just got lucky that he just didn't kill you there. Um, or get a really good meaty shot on you. I've, I've been playing hog a lot more, just because I've been playing tank a lot more, and I've unfortunately been playing a lot less Moira like the last two seasons, because honestly, I've... I've she doesn't feel as fun to play for me. Uh, it's a personal opinion, but um, I still enjoy... Uh, I do play her a little bit, but I've been kind of branching out and trying other heroes. But anyway, um, with Hog, a lot of times, a lot of my kills aren't even for hooks. It's just because I, I friggin' hit somebody center mass with all the pellets, and they just explode. He's like a fat reaper. So here, I would have faded... I would have faded up, right? You guys just had a team kill. Let me go back. Okay. Team kill, fade. All right, because that's at 621 in the, in the replay. When do we actually use our fade? 6.30, so nine seconds later. So it fades on a six second cooldown, right? So not only would we have had it back already, we would have it had, we would have had it half back again, right? So maximize your value, right? Moira's kit is very, very simple. There's not a lot to it, right? You got an orb, you got a fade, and you got a, a, a weapon, you know? And, and healing and damage of both, right? Of the, the orbs in your, in your uh, primary and secondary fire. There's not a lot there, right? Use them. Use them often. Use them as much as you can, right? I am firing orbs off of cooldown. Now there's, and, and like this, right? I'll, I'll do that, right? It's not like I'm running out of spawn and I'm just going to shoot an orb into nowhere just to say I shot an orb, right? There, there are obvious caveats to that. But I, as soon as my orb's coming out, I'm shooting it. As soon as my fade is out and I want to reposition, I'm absolutely using it. I'm not going to just walk, right? Because 
I am going to... Fa that was a really bad orb, by the way. Um, I, I like it, but I don't like it. This is also super dangerous. Okay? Honestly, you should... If Had he his aim been a little bit better, you would have died there. Um, yeah, I think we're shooting too many healing orbs. Especially with a team like this, where they're going to be super spread out, and they're super mobile, right? Especially now that you have a tracer, everybody is, like, mega mobile. Healing... Like, you really should... The only time you're going to want to shoot a healing orb is, like, you're all grouped up, or... Like, right now, sure, I could shoot a healing orb and, and top everybody off before I just fade, right? Because that, that way you can get away and go do something else. Okay. But, just to reiterate, we need to be using our cooldowns as much as we can, right? So that's how we're going to maximize value on more, right? Okay. But you need to do that from, from cover and safety. So I fade from cover to cover. Safety to safety. And then if I know I'm going to engage, right, in, in a dangerous situation where I might need to fade, yeah, I'm going to sit on it. It's not like I'm just holding down my, my fade key and then fading as, as soon as it comes up every time. Right, so we're even delayed to use our fade there. And this is an instance almost where I... I probably wouldn't have done that fade, at least that direction because we're fading into the enemy team and the only person between the enemy team and us is just our ball, right? All the hog has to do is just walk by the ball and then kill you. See how he, he got you really low there and you still, and you faded out of it, right? Even without the hook, it's that easy for Hog to do that when you're close to him. Right? So there's a good reason to use a, a healing orb. Okay, so we sh we cast Coalescence, I assume to pressure the Echo, and then didn't look at her. Like, I, I, I get it that you ended up doing a, the, a good thing. And it must be because the Ur Did the Mercy ult before or after you cast Coalescence? It was before. Okay. Yeah, I don't... Um, not a huge fan of this ult. I, I'm not going to say it was a waste. But in the moment, I probably wouldn't. I, I wouldn't have done that. Unless the... If the Mercy hadn't have Valked there, I probably would have. But she out, so I, I wouldn't have. Because with with the team that they have, these are the two that I want to hurt the most with my coalescence. Because coalescence goes through her shield, and tracking a flying mercy is, I think, something that Moira should be able to do. At least a good Moira, anyway. Oh, she's gonna kill you. <laughs> uh. Okay. So, I, I think the, the big takeaway here is we didn't use our cooldowns very effectively. Um, we shot a lot of wasted orbs. Like a lot of wasted orbs. Uh, I didn't particularly see a reason for some of your coalescences. Maybe it was all of them, but I, I'm drawing a blank now of what... Because there was the one where you coalescence against the brig. There was one before that. I, I don't remember them all. But the one where you did the brig and she went around the corner, right? Um, and then the the one where you did the echo. Now, like I can, I can almost see the one with the ball. I don't know. I feel like he could have still gotten out there. And he still could have healed. Um, that one's iffy. That one's a little bit iffy. Uh, and then there was the one where we almost got hooked by the hog. And I don't know if we juked him or not. Um, so there might have been one more, but now I, I'm second guessing myself. But either way, I think even in that one, I didn't particularly like. I didn't particularly like it.
Honestly, if the hog hadn't hooked you there, I would have been okay with it, but we should have been chasing that brig. Yeah, and then we got her. Okay, so I, I like this ult. I just don't know I liked the ult. I don't like how it played out. I don't like that we did it within range of the hog's hook and basically just got lucky that he juked us or that we juked him. And then um, we started ulting the brig, and then as she walked back, we stayed there. We did not go forward. Because um, the other thing is, is I want to... Uh, it was luck. It was sheer luck that you didn't get hooked there. Okay. So, yeah, I, I, I feel like all of our ultimates either were not good value um, or they were very risky and we basically, like this one, and we just didn't get punished for it. Okay. So, it, it seems to me like our our two main weaknesses are kind of combined because it's really it's cooldown usage and your ultimate is, is effectively a cooldown, right? It's just a really long one. Um, our using our kit is where we're struggling for sure okay so i need to see more orbs more often okay work on on use maximizing your fade right fade is not a crutch to for bad positioning and your, your positioning is right you can always it can always be better um but it, you're good use of cover stuff like that um i want to see more fades um i want to see more cooldown usage and correct cooldown usage, right? Understand who, you know, who are you playing with, right? Do you really want to shoot a healing orb at a, at a wrecking ball, right? What, what are the odds that you're going to get value out of that versus spraying them a little bit, shooting a damage or damage team and getting those resources, okay? Uh, so that's, that's like the major overarching thing here is cooldown usage, ultimate usage, okay? Then for the more team-specific stuff, it, it, you, I can tell you felt out of place because you're like, you're looking around a lot, which is good, but you're also looking around a lot because you you don't really know what to do, <laughs> right? So, and I, I can kind of tell the difference, um, and that, that's okay, right? Um, I probably should have saved the replay of the the match that I played on here. I was I. It looked like it was my first game of Overwatch ever. It was it was nuts how bad it was for me. Um, so you're playing a super divey team. If they're not diving together, pick pick somebody who looks like they're diving well. Right, or making the correct dives, and then assist them. Right? Yeah, see, I, I don't push it because the alternative to chase that brig would have been to go towards the hog, and I don't like that. I also don't like that we like didn't get away from him here. Uh, is sooner. Okay. So, cooldown usage. Use the right cooldowns. Use them often. Okay. And then understand your team versus the enemy team and how you're going to interact with your team and your enemy team okay so cool good stuff hey congrats i mean honestly you've been if you were in plat 5 the last time i, I reviewed you and this is where you are now that's incredible right so uh, don't sell yourself short i think uh you feel like you deserve a lower rank i don't i feel like you can be exactly where you are um and just tighten up the, the stuff you need to tighten up and you'll maintain or, or climb for sure so okay well That'll about do it for this one. Let me know if you have any questions, and good luck.